Hello everyone, welcome to Asis Peruji. In this video, we will discuss about introduction to reproductive health. And this is the first part from the chapter. Before starting, let me introduce myself. I am Asis Kumar Das, a student of MSc Animal Biology, University of Hyderabad. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for getting more updates. Now, let's get started. So, first of all, what we will learn today? We will see what is reproductive health then we will see what are the problems that are associated with ensuring a reproductively healthy society that is for a healthy society we must include the reproduction also that is a society should be healthy in terms of all that is social attribute economical attribute and also repro reproductive attribute and that's why what are the problem that we will face in ensuring a reproductively healthy society then we will see what are the strategies and plan that is implemented by our government that is both center and state government and also different non-governmental organizations that is NGOs to ensure a reproductively healthy society. Then we will see what is RCH program and what are the role they are playing in the rural and urban areas. Then we will see what are the various causes of the population explosion. Okay, what are the various causes that is the population is means increasing rapidly, tremendously, that's why it is called as population explosion and many more. So before learning about reproductive health, we must have a brief idea about health. So health, that is the definition of health, is changing over time. From ancient times, that is our ancient world, that is according to Hippocrates, Hippocrates is also known as the father of medicine and our Indian Ayurveda system that that is the health can be defined as a state of body and mind okay state of body and mind so it includes both body and mind that is our body must be healthy and our mind will also be healthy as you have already learned that is you have already heard in many times that is a healthy mind lies in a healthy body that is we must be mentally fit and also physically fit and so according to Ayurveda system and the Hippocrates that is the father of medicine the scientist so the state of body and mind where there is balance of poor humor so what are the poor humors that is your blood then black bile yellow bile and the phalem so this poor humor that is blood black bile yellow bile and the phalem is related to the theory of four elements in our life that is black bile corresponds to earth yellow bile corresponds to fire and the um, water is that is the phalem phlegm phalem correspond to water so this is an ancient system of uh, that is the definition of the health now according to who that is world health organization health is a state of complete physical emotional mental and social well-being and not merely absence of disease that is if you are disease free it may or may not mean you are healthy you must be physically fit emotional attribute also must be good mental aspect must be good and social well-being that is if you are having all these things and in your society you are not well equipped that is you are not able to adjust properly in your society that is that means you are not healthy that's why it complete that is it includes the complete physical mental and social well-being this is the who definition okay and this is the modern definition also you can say and how health is affected health is affected by the genetic disorder that is the disorder that we inherit from our parents or that the offspring inherit from their parents due to the gene mutation or chromosomal mutation you can say then the infection that can be viral infection that is when, when a virus is infecting our body that can be bacterial infection and the lifestyle that is the food and water we take rest and exercise we give to our body and the habits that we have or lack that we possess or we lack that means some of us are having good habits that are beneficial for our health and some of us may be having bad habit that's why the habits exercise rest food and water you are taking all of these things are important for our health and when the misbalance occur in between these things that is rest and exercise our habits then it will severely affect our health now what are the problems and strategies associated with the reproductive health first of all a reproductively healthy society that is a society where that is having physical and functionally normal reproductive organ that is in a society 
ऑल द पीपुल मोस्ट फंक्शनल एंड फिजिकली वेल रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन्स एंड द एट्रीब्यूट्स और इंट्रैक्शन रिगार्डिंग द सेक्स रिलेटेड एस्पेक्ट दैट मस्ट बी योर नॉर्मल इंट्रैक्शन दैट इज द इमोशनल एंड सोशल इंट्रैक्शन मस्ट बी नॉर्मल दैट इज पीपुल सुल नॉट फील दैट इज लाइक सुल नॉट इग्नोर द प्रोब्लम्स दैट इज एसोसिएटेड द रिप्रोडक्टिव एस्पेक्ट देन इंडिया इज द फास्ट कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड टू इनिशिएट एक्शन प्लांस और प्रोग्राम दैट इज देर आर सेभराल कंट्री एंड इंडिया इज द फास्ट कंट्री एमंग देम वी शुड टेक प्राइड इन दिस सो द फास्ट कंट्री एमंग ऑल द कंट्री टू इनिशिएट फैमिली प्लानिंग दैट इज द प्रोग्राम द नेम ऑफ द प्रोग्राम इज फैमिली प्लानिंग एंड दिस इज डिरेक्टेड टू एटेन टोटाल रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ दैट इज ऑल द मेम्बर्स ऑफ द सोसाइटी मस्ट भी रिप्रोडक्टिवली हेल्थी एंड दिस इज ए नेशनल प्रोग्राम दैट इज इट इज लॉन्च वर्ल्ड वाइड देन इन द लेटर पार्ट्स देन इन द लेटर टाइम द फैमिली प्लानिंग नेम इज चेंजेड टू रिप्रोडक्टिव एंड चाइल्ड हेल्थ केयर सो अर्लियर इट वाज फैमिली प्लानिंग लेटर इट वाज चेंज टू रिप्रोडक्टिव एंड चाइल्ड हेल्थ केयर आर सी एच प्रोग्राम एंड हार्ड डज इट इंक्लूड्स इट इंक्लूड मोर रिप्रोडक्शन रिलेटेड एस्पेक्ट्स एंड more and more topics are related that is are uh, that is implemented in this program and now they are collectively called as reproductive and child health care that is your rch rch is the abbreviation that stands for the reproductive and child health care so family planning so what are the that is the attributes or aspect associated with the family planning here you will see फैमिली प्लानिंग दैट इज वन और चाइल्ड वन और टू चाइल्ड अर्लियर इट वाज ए नोशन दैट हम दो हमारे दो दैट इज इच पेरेंट्स मस्ट हैव टू चाइल्ड बट नाउ इट इज बींग चेंजेड टू हम तो हमारे एक सो नाउ पेरेंट्स आर प्रिफरिंग टू हैव ओनली वन चाइल्ड वन चाइल्ड सो फैमिली प्लानिंग इज दैट इज डिरेक्टेड टू एंड हंगर एंड पॉवर्टी ऑब्वियसली इफ देर विल बी लेस नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रन देन वी कैन फीड देम बेटर बेटर न्यूट्रिशियस फूड एंड ऑल्सो वी कैन प्रोवाइड देम बेटर फेसिलिटीज इन टर्म्स ऑफ एजुकेशन हेल्थ सेल्टर एटसेट्रा सो दिस विल एंड पॉवर्टी देन यू कैन इनक्रीज द एजुकेशन दैट इज द बेसिक एलिमेंट दैट इज द रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ए हेल्थी सोसाइटी देन यू कैन एम्पावर वोमेन थ्रू द फैमिली प्लानिंग ओके देन इम्प्रूव इनफंट हेल्थ ऑब्वियसली इफ यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग मोर न्यूट्रिशियस फूड बेटर फेसिलिटीज इन टर्म्स ऑफ मेडिसिन हेल्थ केयर द इनफंट हेल्थ विल बी अपग्रेडेड दैट इज द फैमिली प्लानिंग is uh, means uh, directing the process to be implemented from the grass root level then it will improve the maternal health also obviously if there are less number of children the mother will also face less problem in nourishing them and this will lead to mental health that is the better or best mental health you can say then the family planning will support partnerships it will also save the environment that is less number of people it will save the environments and it will decrease the chances of that is the sexually transmitted disease like hiv aids etc so all of these are the goals associated with family planning that is family planning is directed to attain these goals now what are the tasks of the rch that is reproductive and child health care program so it is having the task or it plays a role of creating awareness so we must avoid ignorance and we must be aware about the various reproduction related aspects this is essential for a reproductively healthy society and providing facilities and support for a reproductively healthy society so it will create awareness among people in terms of the audio visual ads various print media various uh, programs in tvs radios in newspaper then it will also provide facility and support for a reproductively healthy society so it will counsel the parents for a healthy society that is for family planning now what are the various roles that is played by the our government and the non governmental agency that is ngo so they create awareness through the print media and the audio visuals that is various audio visual ads we see in media we also see in newspaper in tvs okay so these are directed for a reproductively healthy society how the people will be safe from the sexually transmitted disease how the society will be a better place for the incoming generation all of these things then introduction of sex education in the school for a reproductively healthy society includes the following things so what are the things that is to provide right information that is the students or the children will be provided right information it will prevent them 
from the myth and misconception so first of all it will provide the right information and it will help to avoid a myth and misconceptions and again the proper information about the reproductive organs adolescence that is the age of poverty that is teenagers will is reach the age of poverty so all of these things will provide the better information about these things and related changes the what are the various physical mental changes emotional changes associated with the reproductive changes or associated with the adolescence we will see that is the proper information must be given to the students or the children from the grassroots level and safe and hygienic sexual practices also must be included in the school system that is the knowledge about all these things that is knowledge about the safe and hygienic sexual practices and the knowledge about the sexually transmitted disease how that transmitted all these things should learn should be learnt by the student from the school education itself now the rch that is the reproductive and child health care also educate the fertile couples that is that will they will be parents in the future or they are parents now and people in the marriageable groups about the following points what are the points that is available birth control option so as a healthy human being we must know how to maintain the environmental balance and for this birth control is necessary so people that is a fertile couple must have the idea about the available birth control options then the care of pregnant women how we should take the care of pregnant women such that it will be good for both the women that is a pregnant woman at the incoming child or you can say the offspring the next generation would be taken care better then the post natal care post natal care means after birth so after birth how will have to take the care of the mother and the child then importance of breastfeeding what are the various nutrients antibodies present in the mother's blood that is colostrum fast blood after delivery and how this is good for the baby will the fertile couple should be educated regarding this then the equal opportunity for male and health, male and female child so for a healthy society the male and female are like both side of a coin and their ratio must be maintained constant that is ratio must be maintained one that is the number of male should be equal to number of female so there should be equal opportunity about male and female both are equal and when they are provide provided better means uh, ed education better health care facility both can bring name and fame for the parents as well as the country and there are essential for the, that is these things are essential for a conscious family of desired size that is a family should be a small family is a happy family so the family size must be that is three or four members that would be better for both for the parents and for the children's now population explosion so population explosion means the tremendous rate of increase in the population so if here you will see the chart or you can see the graph you can see in the 1960 the population was 3 billion then in 1975 the population was 4 billion and in 1987 it was 5 billion and in 1990 it was 6 billion in 2011 it was 7 billion and now it is more than that is about 780 that is 7.8 billion or you can say uh, approximately 8 billion so the rate of increase that is 1960 it was 3 billion and in 1975 it was 4 billion so for 3 to 4 billion there there are that is we have taken 15 years but from 4 to 5 billion we have taken only 12 years from here to that is 5 to 6 again 12 years is there 1999 to 1987 and here also 11 to 12 years that is the number of years taken is decreasing that is the population is increasing tremendously so here you can see 3 billion 4 billion and the that is the year so how this is uh, the population explosion is there that is that is due to the increased health facility and the improvement in technology the health facility is increasing the technology various medical implications is there so the technology are also increasing then the world population is about 2 billion in 191900 ad that is uh, In, so this is not shown in graph that was about 2 billion in 19900 ad the after death and about 8 billion now so how you can imagine the rate of increase then in india 350 million during independence and now 1.3 billion so you can also imagine the rate of population increase in india so 350 million during independence that is 1947 and now it is 1.3 billion 
so here this is a comparative account of the world population and here in terms of india i have explained so here you can see this is a diagram or you can see a cartoon picture drawn you can see the mother earth and how the population is increasing and as you know the earth is having a specific amount of the resources to sustain the life you can see these people are falling so this is a uh, representative diagram or you can say chart that shows how the population is increasing and how this is putting tremendous effect that is the harmful effect on the earth you can see from the face itself this is also another diagram how we have uh, that is the earth is deteriorated you can see here you can see how it is deteriorated and we human beings are uh, using it that is exploiting the earth natural resources and this is uh, uh, giving a huge blow to the earth itself now what are the reason for the population explosion that is decline in death rate the death rate is decreasing due to the improvement in health care and the modern technologies that is able to recognize the disease or the diagnose the disease earlier then decline in the infant mortality rate infant mortality rate means the number of the infant that is facing death from the thousand infants that is uh, among the that is if you take thousand infant and you will say how how much number that is how many are undergoing death that will be give that will give you the infant mortality rate that is the number of death of infant per thousand and similarly the maternal mortality rate is number of death of the mother per thousand so you can see this rate is decreasing the imr and mmr decreasing and this is responsible for the population explosion then increased number of population in the reproductive ages so the number of population in the reproductive age also increasing and this is also that is more and more people are reproducing and this is leading to population explosion so people should be made aware about these things what are the things that is due to uncontrolled population the problem that we are facing be it poverty be it lack of shelter lack of education that is obviously if the number of children is less we can feed them better we can provide them better education and then we can provide better shelter to them so this problem should be acknowledge acknowledgeable during the reproduction then social abuse like sex abuse and sex related crimes is also increasing due to the more and more population so and people should think up and take the necessary step to prevent it from these abuses that is the people should be made aware about these things and they are encouraged to build a reproductively healthy society so this is the end of the video thank you for watching and if you are new to this channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon i will soon upload the next part of the video till then thank you take care